right now in Carl's gym. Welcome to Domination. Hey, I'm Mad Viking. Yo! And I'm Dirk Mahoney. Tonight's another debut match for two new wrestlers. We got a short luchador and a creepy guy with two personalities. <laughs> that reminds me of that one movie I saw where the guy had about ten of them. First we have El Oso, man born with a previous malady of cerebral palsy. Short Bus was originally a hero with yellow and black power armor to enact justice in the city. An alien nanotech formed in his armor to repair and improve his nerves and muscles to make a more superhuman form than he is today. He's a mighty tank with a whole bunch of firepower. His ultimate move is the patented paragraph punch. And we have Scratchy Tooth. He's a dream demon-like entity that comes from Michigan around the Millennium City parts. This childish and confusing demon has been known to be incredibly friendly to the young on the outside while giving them life lessons via his nightmares. He likes to offer cupcakes to those he deems not hostile to him. He's a tall lanky guy but from his stats, he's a tank with inhuman strength alongside his weapons. Being a demon of dreams, he uses fear manipulation, self mutation, and grand illusions against his opponents. His ultimate move is him growing two pairs of arms that he calls his fists of hecatonkeries. We bring you live backstage with Finny, who shall interview the two, Finny. Good day, fellow Corbus. Finny here. I am currently backstage with the two wrestlers. First up, we have Mr. El Oso. Fancy to see a luchador coming into the scene, sir. Buenos dias, Finny. You are here to, uh, how you say? Ah, uh, yes. Interview me. Very well. Though I'm used to working with my, how you say? Ah, uh, yes. Partner. The lovely Leona. I will do my best to compete and give El Oso's fans the performance they deserve. That sounds caliente. Whatever that word means. Got anything to say to Scratchy Tooth here? Mr. Scratchy Tooth. I do not know where you come from, but you shall rue the day you stepped into the ring with El Oso! <laughs> nice. Good luck to you, Luchador. Now we have Scratchy Tooth here. The interesting suit you got there. Are you a mummy from Egypt or something? Let's just say my face ain't pretty. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Want anything to say to El Oso before you step in the ring, mate? <laughs> <laughs> he looks fun, eh? This looks fun. Thanks for your words, Mr. Scratchy. That was the two Floyders backstage that are getting ready for the fight. Back to you, Madam Dick. Thanks, Finny. Coming up next is the fight between these two debut fighters in Domination. that robot again? You're not. You're announcing the two fighters. I downloaded the stats of the two in your memory. Oh. Searching stats. Bing! Oh my! What a matchup! <coughs> in the right corner, weighing 145 pounds, height of 4 feet 10 and a half, the Caliente Bear, the small fine with a big punch, El Oso! Senors and senoritas! I, El Oso, do this for you. Viva la revolución! On the left corner, weighing 155 pounds, 9 feet, the mighty mumbling mummy, the nightmare maker, Scratchy Tooth. You know how this might end, right? Okay, you know the rules. Secure your masks. And secure your heads in case you get into a trance. Shake. <laughs> Let's get ready to dominate! Yeah, I did good! The first match has started. Eloso's going strong as he first walks over to Piffle on his side. Aww. Aww. Eloso's getting encouragement from his assistant Leona. Isn't that adorable? I swear I've seen that face before. How can you? He's wearing a mask that defines him as a luchador from here to all the way to Mexico. No, I mean... 
He's making a run for Scratchy. He slipped over him, and he's landed right on the top of the turnbuckle just to taunt that mummified man. Eloso's got something under his sleeve, or at least his mask. He runs right towards him. He's zooming between Scratchy's legs, and he kicks him right in the patootie to send him to the ground. He's putting him in a pendulum submission hold. Scratchy manages to get one hand free, and he uses it to swat Eloso's face like a fly swatter. Scratchy didn't like those tricks one bit. He made a couple of swings at the luchador. He clocked El Oso's face with a jab straight to his masked face. He's following it up with another punch. And another. El Oso starts to the next punch and he latched on Scratchy's leg like a cat on a string. Hang in there, baby. El Oso's found a way to make Scratchy's arm useful as he twirls around it like a gymnast. He's building up the altitude to make an upwards flip to get his legs right at Scratchy's neck. And he sends him down with a hurricanrana. What a spectacular display of athleticism. Scratchy's going to need a moment to recover from that move. El Oso's pinning him now. And Scratchy kicked out. I ain't going down that easy, kid. Scratchy's getting back up, cracking his neck in all sorts of ways. He's winding his arm like a toy, twisting it like a spring. He's letting that fist fly off, ricocheting the ropes to go after El Oso. El Oso's trying to avoid getting hurt in this situation as he's dodging out of Scratchy's reach. Ouch! Alocho just got punched in the face and now he's in a chokehold. Scratchy's rearranging his arm now to hold the luchador 10 feet in the air and slamming him down hard. The carnage of this mummified fighter. Scratchy's holding him down, flattening him down like a pancake or a tortilla for that matter. Note to self get tacos after this. Soft shell, extra chilanto. <coughs> oh jeez. El Oso just bit his hand to let him go. Wait, is this allowed? I may be a gentleman, but I have the heart. Of the bear spirits! <laughs> Scratchy's waving his hand, distracted from that hard blow. Eloso made a drop kick right to his torso. He's waving his hand now and rubbing his stomach. At least he's got that multitasking thing down. And that was the first match. We'll be back with the second round of this match at Domination. Welcome back to the second round of this match. What we've seen so far is two sides so enough their prowess on the move. El Oso displays his athleticism in jumping and flipping while bringing Scratchy down hard with Luchador moves. Scratchy was a tank in this part, dealing with the damage directed at him and then directing the damage back at El Oso. Also, I still can't figure out that this guy here is very familiar. I just can't put my finger on it. That's because he is the greatest wrestler from where Lucha Libre began. I'll admit... I've seen his wrestling before, and he deserves that name of being very strong. And of course, the fangirl is right behind him. But that's Defenders of... And the second round has started. Ah, oh, jeez. With a mighty stance, El Oso's toying with the mummified mumbler. He's making a beeline towards Scratchy, and Scratchy made his way to try to grab him. Oh! Right as Scratchy's arm swung another way, El Oso gave his elbow an uppercut. Scratchy arm is dangling from the pain. <laughs> that hurts! You wanna pay for that? El Oso follows it up with a bungee around the ropes and punches him out of the ring. Will Scratchy be able to get up and bring the pain back to the short luchador? Senor Scratchy, do you plan to lay there like a dog? Or will you fight like a lion? El Oso's doing the plancha suicida! Scratchy grabs him and slams him out on the floor! Yows! Everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. Just a few broken bones is all. <laughs> Scratchy just whipped out a machete the size of the luchador. He's making stabs at him, but El Oso keeps moving out of the way. Scratchy's playing the five-finger fillet as he tries to end El Oso, but each time he only hits the concrete floor. Something's coming from Scratchy now. Something weird. <laughs> One now, but there is two. Don't try to keep track. We got double trouble. Scratchy's made a stunt double. Stunt double? I don't see anything. All I see is just Scratchy and some floating machete. He's using two machetes now, and he's trying to stab Eloso out. He's going to turn him into salsa. Scratchy cross shanks the two machetes on the ground to hold Eloso down on his neck. He's stuck there. El Oso's given the Spanish Inquisition treatment as he's lying there with his head held down with two blades. If he moves his head around those sharp edges, he's toast. 
He's about to reach for the machetes, but Scratchy didn't let him get a chance to get up. He's got another round of machetes. Running at Elso in all directions to where his whole body was surrounded with blades to hold him down more. He's stuck there. The ref is counting him off. It looks like it's all over for the great luchador. Scratchy securing his win. Oh, what is this? I have not danced the dance of the machetes since I was in New York. Ha ha! Arriba, everybody! Dance los machetes! He's managing to wiggle a leg and an arm out from the blades. He's managed to grab the blades from his sides and the ones from his head. His wits got him out of the ground and back into the ring. A smart luchador this guy is. El also did not like that trick one bit under the mask. It's an undying determination that he has to keep going and secure that win that he deserves. Scratch sees the same as well with his gesture style fighting at hand and using every trick at his disposal for the win. Clever little bastard. <sighs> And that's the second round. Coming up next is the final round of this match in Domination. And we're back with round three. A brief recap of what happened recently, El Oso gave Scratchy a beatdown out of the ring. Scratchy didn't give up on his end though, as he gave the luchador the knife throwing trick all over his body. Eat your heart out, Houdini. You know, I don't think luchadors are normally short-statured. In fact, don't we know someone who's normally this height? You know, one would basically explain superpower stuff. Superpower stuff? Oh, right, yeah. Now I know what you're talking about. He did his powerful punch that was explained so thoroughly. It's long, but it's a punch that's worth it to bring pain to his opponents. He did that to El Burro once at a land called San Pedro y San Paulo to Kitsapec. San Texo, what? Mi amiga, mi amigos, mis muchachos. The time has come for El Oso to use his most powerful attack. No, 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 I know, I know, I know, but I must. And the final round has started. This has been fine, but I'm going to break ya. Scratchy just cracking his knuckles, expecting El Oso to make a move. Ugh, I think he discolated one finger at a moment. El Oso's backing away to Buzzy jump on the ropes. He's running at Scratchy, but Scratchy dodges away from his direction. He runs again, waving his attack. El Oso's making another while Scratchy makes moves to the side. El Oso backing behind him. And now, Mr. Scratchy, I am going to give you the patented paragraph punch. It starts off with me maintaining my form, like the bear, with a punch, like this. <laughs> then I shall reduce your crushing and your physical damage, with this, how you say. Ah yes, demolish. <laughs> but wait, that is not all. For now, El Oso calls upon the spirit of the great bear, El Oso! And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the almighty patented paragraph punch. It's the punch that ended a dozen luchador's careers. Scratchy's falling down to the floor now. It's all over for the mumbling mummy. El Oso's pinning him. Scratchy kicked out. Also punched, didn't knock him out. Scratchy must have been playing dead from the get-go on that one. Scratchy's jumping back on his feet, rolling his shoulders a bit. Something's going out of his body. He, he's got four extra arms. The itsy bitsy spider! Get the fucking ass! The mummified fighter is doing his signature move now. It's the fists of Hecatoncrees. Each of his arms are pummeling El Oso down with the strength of four and a half men. He's finishing it up with a two armed uppercut and a push away from the ropes. And Scratchy brings El Oso down with a choke slam from another arm. He's pinning him now. Scratchy Tooth wins the match! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this match, Scratchy Tooth! Boy, that was fun! Here's a cupcake from yours truly. Muchas gracias, mi amigo. Though I appreciate the gesture of a, how you say, ah oh, yes, cupcake. 
In this time of coronaviruses, there isn't just a euphemism for when Americans on spring break in Puerto Vallarta can't handle their cervezas. I must pass, because much like El Rania, you have many hands that you need washing with. Use some hand sanitizer. Also, do not touch your face. <laughs> I'm Mad Viking. And I'm Dirk Mahoney. And that was Domination. Stay safe, Millennium City, and good night. <laughs>